I always think about the first day when I entered into uh, ArcelorMittal de Fasco on a tour. I remember walking into the shop and thinking I was a kid in a sandbox. Everything is so big and you think, wow, it's just, I saw it as opportunity. Biggest leaps and bounds we're probably gonna be doing over the next number of years is on the environment and energy side. 70 years ago, the, the recyclability of our energy was not where it was today. You can find uh, steel in almost every aspect of your everyday life. You got the automotive parts, the skyscrapers, You'd be hard pressed to find something that doesn't have steel in it. You know, years and years and years ago, we know that environmental legislation didn't really exist. But uh, more recently, and, and very much so, everyone's got to do our part to take care of the planet. This has driven a lot of change and innovation in how steel plants deal with their effluent. Starting out with filtration, and then more recently, in the last 20 years, activated biological water treatment plants. So you're either along a river or in a, along a lake, and that water just went into those. And that's just was accepted and that was the norm. Uh, and not only has the uh, steel industry endeavored to reduce their impact on the environment, but uh, our suppliers as well. Um, from a supplier uh, consultant side, company Tenova Goodfellow at our arc furnace, and uh, they've helped us look at our off-gas information, look at the energy inputs of our uh, arc furnace, and help us to reduce the overall energy consumption of that furnace. One of the big changes in, from our supplier's point of view is scrapyards. Well, about a third of all the steel we produce here in an integrated mill starts out as your old cars and refrigerators and soup cans. But scrapyards have changed immensely, particularly just in the last 10 years. The net result for us is we're getting a pure product. Um, steel is the most recycled product in North America. And we think that's a, a big advantage uh, for our industry. One of the problems the steel industry faces going forward is that we are an energy intensive industry and there's no way of getting around that. That is where our friends at Pond Biofuels come in. Pond is currently um, working with U.S. Steel Canada in their integrated steel mill. We use algae to transform the carbon dioxide emissions from industrial plants like U.S. Steel into biodiesel and uh, biofuels and a solid coal substitute. Uh, in the future, we'll be thinking about greenhouse gas emissions in a whole different way. Treated as a waste right now, but. Uh, uh, really, they should be treated as a resource. You know, the challenges we are faced with today has just spurred on, you know, development, new technologies. If you're up for the challenge, there's lots of opportunity to put your thumbprint on an industry and help shape its way into the future.